everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name's Tiffany. Today I'm going to be unboxing my new Pillow Tabby um, 26 in the colour Aqua so if you are interested then keep on watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and check out my Instagram and let's get right into this. So for unboxings I always have to flip the camera around so you can see what I'm seeing so let's get right into this. Okay so I'm literally just going to the box right now. I got this bag from mybag.com. I like, I've had their app for ages, but never actually bought anything from them. But they had this bag for a really good price. So I thought I'd give them a try. It seems like they're part of this whole, um, the hut. I want one of those. Um, where is it? Look fantastic. Yeah, all that sort of, they look like the whole, part of one whole group company called the hut. Oof, I'm so excited to get into this. Lots of Here she is in the box. Let's get in a bit closer. I'm curious how the colour actually looks in real life because sometimes it looks a bit darker, sometimes it looks a bit lighter and I haven't been able to see a proper I haven't seen it in real life at all, basically. Well, I usually don't do that with bags. I haven't got a clear idea what the colour is, but let's see. I can already see the colour looks stunning. Oh my goodness. How delicious. Oops, slide that right out of there. The colour is what I hoped it would be, like this lovely baby pastel blue sort of colour. Although I do hate the colour of the hardware. <laughs> it's, like, it's really like, it's not silver, it's just dark graphite. I like either gold or silver, <laughs> nothing in between. Mainly gold, but yeah. The big squishy pillow tab, tabby charm on there. I do think it's a bit excessive in size. Because I have the Pillow Tabby 18, I do like that mini dinky one. But anyway. Let's get all this stuff out from the insides. There's always so many things inside. How about, okay, here we go, dust bag. I was hoping that was there. But at the same time, this kind of bag, you want it to keep its shape, so I get why there's a lot in here. I mean, not the most spacious of bags, the pillow tabby, but it's just such a beautiful design that I'm obsessed with. And I just love the soft squishiness of it. So here's a better look at the inside. Got the coach. Well, coach detailing there. And then zip lined with coach logo care card pretty spacious but we'll see what fits in it oh and of course got the straps again everything is wrapped up really nicely which is great Sometimes when you don't like buy from the website of the brand, it might be open or different sorts of things, but this seems to be like very much like how it's wrapped up and then you get it from the coach. So you've got two straps. Let's get these out. The regular handle slash shoulder sort of strap, I think I'll be using this mainly the bigger strap. If I remember correctly it's thicker on the Pillow Tabby 26. I prefer the look of the thinner straps. Yeah, it's a bit of a thicker strap. Okay, let me get all this off. I really love it. It's a lovely airy blue. I just don't know how I feel about the hardware. I never like take off the official tags and I'm like a hundred and million percent sure that I love the bag. Let's see how it looks with the straps on. 
I have seen little people customise it with different straps, so maybe I'll try that as well. But here it is with the regular strap. So squishy. And then the other handle has coach on bits here. Oh, it's basically like a belt. It looks pretty durable as well. And then coach on the inside part there too. Hmm, now I see the bigger strap next to the bag. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it does. Very nice. What do you guys think? I'm just having a look at the dust bag. Because it is a tad small. I guess you just take the straps off and stuff when you're putting it in the dust bag. Ooh, I do really like this bag. I wonder if it coming off a bit grey on camera. But it is like a lovely airy baby blue. Just playing around with the bigger strap. Even though it's thicker, it's still a lot nicer than I thought it was. Very nice. So here she is. At first the hardware was a bit, oh, I was a bit like taken back, but now that I've had a second to look at it, I am absolutely in love with this bag. I just love the colour, I don't have anything like this, and I wanted to like sort of expand my handbags into not just neutral colours and start to, you know, have more out there. I mean, I say out there, it's not like it's like bright, but you know what I mean, just something different than like black, brown or neutral sort of colours that I usually get. So this bag originally was on the website for £550. I had to get off my email so I could see what I got it for. So I had an extra 15% off discount code. So I paid £280.50 for this bag. So that's like basically like half price for what it was originally. Like it's just, yeah, I'm so excited to have got it for this decent price because the pillow tabbies have increased in price recently. They used to be about 4 9 5 for this size, but now they're about 5 50 So there is always like sales on them. When they first came out last year, there was never any sales, but now they've started to like have sales and discount codes and things on different sites. So I'd always say look um, and shop around to see if you can get on a discount. But yeah, I overall, I'm very excited. I want to show you guys. Let's have a look, see what fits inside the bag. I'll try and like my essential sort of things first and then things that aren't really necessary. So usually I'd have either a key pouch or this little coin purse. Usually I'd have my keys on here so I'd put my keys in and then it uses the purse with coins, notes and other sort of essentials. They do fit nicely in there together. I wonder if a big purse does fit in. Not that I would take my big purse out in a bag like this but let's just see. Okay that does, that does fit in there. So if it did come down to it, not that I would, but it does fit in there, which is good to know. Also, let's see if my phone fits in there. I have the iPhone 13 Pro, so let's see if that fits in there nicely. But to be fair, my phone's usually in my hand anyway, but just for reference, it does fit in there nicely. This middle part is getting tighter, I guess, with that being filled. I guess the sides determine what fits in the middle, depending on how much you've stuffed here this put off stuff my airpods shove them in there epi pen <laughs> that's definitely essential pop that in there hairbrush not really essential but let's just see what else fits um makeup brush um hand cream a lip gloss i'm sure if i organized it better i could probably fit more as well Hand sanitizer spray. Again, I could use a smaller like Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. I have been enjoying the spray recently, but that does fit in there, which is good to know. Um, body mist, and then I, I mean this would not fit in. Oh, would it? Maybe. But usually I keep my essentials separately in this pouch as well. A mirror, hay fever tablets, paracetamol. Vaseline, so yeah, you can literally stuff this to the brim. This is like more than essential, but it's good to know that if I wanted to, I could fit basically most of the important things that I would carry in my handbag. It does feel a bit, it's getting quite heavy though. I'm just going to take some stuff out and see if this does fit. Not that I would again need to take that with me, but just out of curiosity, 
wondering if the next size of the kirigami does fit in there. Oh, interesting. That is slot in there nicely. So I mean, this bag is quite well divided. Usually I use this to separate my bag and things like when I'm using a tote bag, but yeah, it's good to know that this does literally fit. My, let's just have essential things in there so I don't need like makeup brush and mirror, yes. And um, maybe hairbrush, yes. Um, Vaseline, I keep. And that, yeah, keys purse thing yeah so just my essentials fits just fine does get a bit heavy though but overall i'm quite impressed with how much i can fit in here what do you guys think they've got so many new colors in the pillow tabby when it came out last year i got the cream one and i was i thought i was content i thought i was okay i did want the hot pink one but that's discontinued now they've got different shades and i didn't think i wanted this size but seeing this in this color literally changed my mind completely and have you seen they've got some ombre ones as well i'll put some screenshots on the screen they've got lots of different colorways and things now so that if you are interested there's a lot of cute colors they have available now i do hope this one holds up well it's light enough that it could get like you, you can see damage and stuff on it but at the same time dark enough that i'm hoping not not like the cream one where it will show literally any any kind of mark on it so we'll have to see i will be doing like a review um of comparing my pillow tabby 18 and 26 putting them together and um, seeing just reviewing them both and seeing which size is best overall and um, so if you're interested then please subscribe so you can see that a bit later on but yeah let me know if there's anything else you want to know about this bag as well i will include that when i review the two together and yeah, thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy them please subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me check out some of my other videos and hopefully i will see you in the next one thanks so much bye